Hi guys, it's Natalie Brooke and today I'm going to do a video about the top five must reads. These are all books that I've read and I love, so let's get started. The first book is Room. This is a story about a mother and son's life together in a shed and um, it's basically about the plan that they hatch to escape. It's amazing. I love it. It's heartwarming and it's just an all-around amazing book. There's actually a movie about it, which is cool too. So that's that one. That one's by Emma Donahue. The second book is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. This is a book about a young man and his love for a beautiful woman. He goes on a quest to retrieve a fallen star and he's supposed to come back with it for his beloved. So actually, um, it's actually pretty good. There's a lot of witches, there's like a lot of magic and bad guys and everything. It's really fun. I love it. So the third book is Hope Prevails. This is by Dr. Michelle Benson. This is such a great book. It's about her own experience with depression and how she uses her training and her faith to help others um, get past it. Um, she offers the hope of release in her book and it's just such an amazing book. It's so insightful and worthy and just in my view it's amazing. I love it. So the fourth book is Beautiful Uncertainty by Mandy Hale. This is a book about the season of waiting and it's mainly for sing signal people, single people, but it's um it's not only for single people. Like I read it when I was single and it really helped, but it's also for people that are waiting for marriage, for love, for babies, for a cure, um, for a miracle or a sign. So it can be anything, whether you're waiting for any of those things. The last book is actually Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. It's such a good book. It's um, based on off the story of Hosea is one of my all-time favorite books. It's a life-changing story of God's unconditional, redemptive, all-consuming love. So in the Bible, there's actually a book called Hosea, and it's one of my all-time favorites. It's basically like, um, it shows like God's love for his people, and it's amazing. It's about a prostitute, and just, I've always felt drawn towards um, stories about prostitutes and it's just I would definitely read it if I were you. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great day. Bye!